Hi, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. So now we are in chapter 10, which is carboxylic acid, and we're going to focus on the subtopic of 10.4, which is the preparation. So in this video, you're going to look into the preparation of the carboxylic acid through the oxidation of alkyl benzene, alcohol, and aldehyde. Also, you're going to look into the hydrolysis of nitro compound, and lastly, we're going to look into the carbonation of grignard reagent in order to produce carboxylic acid. Okay, so without any further ado, let us start. So, in order to prepare carboxylic acid, we, I will undergo four uh, reactions here. So, first is the oxidation of the primary alcohol with aldehyde and aldehyde. And then we're going to look into the oxidation of alkyl benzene. So, the oxidation of alkyl benzene will involve the alkyl group attached to the benzene. Doesn't matter how long is the carbon chain is, when it is oxidized, it's going to form a carboxylic acid. Next, you're going to look into the hydrolysis of the nitrile. So nitrile consists of the C N bond here, where it is attached with any alkyl group or aryl group. Okay. And lastly, we're going to look into the carboxylation of grignard reagent. So when you have the grignard reagent, RG, RMGBR, and you're going to react that with the carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide refers to the carboxylation. What we're going to produce is the, uh, the carboxylic acid, where they will undergo hydrolysis first. Okay, and these two reactions here gonna add carbon chain, okay, pertambahan carbon at the end of the product. Okay, so let us look at this reaction one by one. So for the oxidation of the primary alcohol, ROH, which refers to alcohol, and aldehyde, which is RCOH. So let us look into the oxidation of aldehyde first, which is the propanol here. Okay, so one, two, three, it is a propanol. When it is oxidized with the strong oxidizing agent, which is KMnO4, uh, followed by uh, at acidic condition at high temperature, what we're going to produce is a propanoic acid, which is example of the carboxylic acid. Okay, and we can also oxidize the alcohol. For example, the alcohol here is the cyclopentyl methanol. When we react that with a strong oxidizing agent at acidic condition at high temperature, what we're going to produce is the cyclopentane carboxylic acid. So this side here is going to be oxidized to form a carboxylic acid. All right. So the reaction of oxidation is as simple as that. Okay. Now we're going to look into the oxidation of alkyl benzene. So the general reaction is going to be alkyl group attached to a benzene, which is alkyl benzene. And then when it is oxidized, so here refers to oxidation using um, any oxidizing agent that you have learned uh, in the previous chapter. For example, K2Cr2 or 7, or you want to use KMnO4. Yes, doesn't matter. Okay, so when it is oxidized using an oxidizing agent, what you're going to produce is a carboxylic acid. So when it, the carboxylic acid attached to the benzene ring, it is known as the benzoic acid. Okay, and this is going to produce a byproduct of the carbon dioxide as well as water. So this R here doesn't matter how long it is. So it, it can be CH3 or R can be CH2, CH2, CH2. CH3. However, the product will still be the benzoic acid. Okay, so doesn't matter how long, it still need to be a benzoic acid. So let's say if you have an example here, which is a uh, one bromo two ethyl benzene. So when it is oxidized at using a strong oxidizing agent, which is the dipotassium dichromate, and then at acidic condition at high temperature, what you're going to produce is benzoic acid. Okay, so we're going to have the benzoic acid and then carbon number one and carbon number two. So it's going to be two bromo benzoic acid. And the other stuff here are going to be uh, released as the byproduct of carbon dioxide as well as water. Okay, so that's it for the oxidation of alkyl benzene. Now, we're going to look into the hydrolysis of nitrile. So basically, nitrile can be prepared by the reaction of haloalkene and cyanide ion. So let's say if you have a haloalkene here, and then you're going to react that with NaCN or KCN in the presence of solvent ethanol, what you're going to produce is that CN going to replace the halogen here. Okay, 
and this cyan the nitrile compound here can undergo hydrolysis H2O and H plus, um, and this is going to produce a carboxylic acid, which is C double bond O O H. Okay, so written as here is okay, or written like this is also okay. Okay, and this is a carboxylic acid. So this reaction will involve the addition of one carbon atom. Okay, mula mula di tayo carbon atom, but now they have the addition of another carbon atom. So this is also a good uh, thing in order to add up the carbon chain at the product. Okay, so there might be a reaction scheme from you asking to produce from haloalkane into carboxylic acid and when you see there is an addition of carbon chain you know that nitrile compound uh, will be involved or maybe gradient reagent okay so now let us look into the example here so let's say if you have the hydrolysis of nitrile um, which is this compound here and then when you hydrolyze it what you're going to produce on this side is a carboxylic acid okay and let's say if you have a haloalkane, okay, and then um, you're going to produce a carboxyl acid, okay. So what you're going to do, uh, and you will want to add up the carbon chain, you're going to react that with the NaCN or KCN, select either one, okay, at the tunnel, and the CH2Br here going to be changed to CH2Cn. And this CH2CN can undergo hydrolysis in to form the carboxylic acid. Okay, so as what you can see here, there will be addition of carbon chain. Okay, ada pertambahan carbon. Okay, now we're going to look into the last reaction, which is the carbonation of Grignard reagent. So the meaning of carbonation means that the Grignard reagent will react with carbon dioxide followed by hydrolysis in order to produce carboxyl acid. So let's say if we have a general reaction of RMGX, which is the great net reagent, uh, then we react that with carbon dioxide, followed by hydrolysis, this is going to produce a carboxyl acid. And the byproduct is going to be MgOHx. So X here can be any halogen. So it can be Cl, it can be Br, or fluorine, or iodine. Okay, now look into their um, example here. So let's say if we have a grid net reagent, and we, when we react that with a carboxyl with a carbon dioxide, followed by hydrolysis, what we're going to produce is a carboxyl acid. Okay, so it is the cyclohexane here is still maintained, and then we're going to attach it with a carboxyl group. Okay. So these are the parts that's changing because carbon dioxide is entered here. And the byproduct is going to be MgOHBr. And then let's say if you have another great net reagent, which is RMGCl or the ethyl MgCl, when we react that with carbon dioxide, which is the process of carbonation at H2, followed by hydrolysis, what we're going to produce is the propanoic acid. That's it. Okay, so... Initially, they are known as ethene, magnesium chloride, okay? And then, uh, for when you undergo carbonation, you can see that there's going to be an addition of carbon chain. So, from ethene, it's going to be propanoic acid, okay? So, you know that during the synthesis, you can either use cyanide, because cyanide, uh, nitrile compound, can add the carbon chain, or you can use the uh, great net reagent because you also you know that it is adding the carbon chain here and the byproduct here going to be MgOHCl all right so this reaction will also add carbon chain same to the one that we have looked in this uh, two slides before that okay so this reaction also add um, the addition of one carbon atom Okay, so same goes to the great net reagent here. Okay, so now let us do example question where we have to complete the following reaction scheme. So let's say if we have a great net reagent here, and then we're gonna change that into carbon di into a 
carboxylic group here. So gradient reagent into carboxylic acid, you know that you need to undergo carbonation. So you need to write two uh, reactants. First, you need to write carbon dioxide, number one, followed by hydrolysis. So you need to label number one and number two. Okay, in Roman. Okay, so you do not write carbon dioxide, comma, H2O, H+. So this one going to be wrong because it needs to be step by step. Carbon dioxide followed by hydrolysis. So number one and number two. Okay, and then uh, this one settled with number uh, with letter A for B. So how can we produce Grignard reagent? So in order to produce Grignard reagent, we need to have our haloalkene. So our haloalkene will react with magnesium to form MgBr. So basically, we can just eliminate Mg. So we can produce our haloalkene here. Okay. So this one will react with Mg and then going to form MgBr here. And then in order to produce um, uh, our B here, going to react with NaCN with ethanol and reflux. So when this compound here react with NaCN, what they're going to do is they're going to replace Br with Cn. Okay, so this is going to be our product here. Okay, so it is still the same because uh, the attachment can be downwards or upwards, doesn't matter. Okay, as long as the, the what's being substituted here is, the, is correct. Okay, and now from your nitrile compound, From your nitrile compound, you're going to produce a carboxylic acid. So you know that you need to undergo hydrolysis. Okay, so you can undergo hydrolysis. And as mentioned here, basically here got one, two, three, and one attachment here. So total four carbon. And now it becomes five carbon. One, two, three, four, five. So got five carbon. And here also have five carbon. So you know that the nitrile compound will add up the carbon chain. Okay. So here is correct. Here is correct. And for E, we can under what are the name of the compound can, that can undergo oxidation because K2Cr2O7 is an oxidizing agent in order to produce carboxylic acid. Okay. So you need to, as mentioned, uh, we know that primary alcohol and aldehyde can undergo oxidation in order to produce a carboxylic acid. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I can select a primary alcohol, for example, the here, which is one, two, three, four. So I'm going to make it as my butanol and it's going to be three methyl butanol. Okay, or you can also use your aldehyde. So you can put it as CH3, CH3, CH2, CH3, and then here gonna be H here. Okay, so either you can select an alcohol or you can use the aldehyde here. So when it is oxidized, it is still forming a carboxylic acid. Okay. Alright, and also you can, we can also add up another equation here, for example, Z. Okay, so we need to find Z in order to produce the compound B here. So, maybe we, Z here can be an alkene, for example, CH3, CH, CH2, CH3, and then with another CH3 here. Okay, and then, yeah, this one is, will be a little bit more complex where the CH3, CH, CH, CH3, CH3 can undergo free radical substitution under UV and this is going to produce CH3, CPR, CH3, and CH3 as the major product. Okay, so 
bila dapat major product what you gonna do is you gonna undergo it undergo the um, dehydrohalogenation okay so dehydrohalogenation KOH with ethanol so what you're gonna produce is CH3 C CH3 CH2 double bond here okay so from alkyl undergo free radical substitution dapat major product and then we undergo dehydrohalogenation and then we can use HBr using peroxide okay so let's say your peroxide is CH3OO CH3 so what you're gonna when you attach it with HBr the Br gonna attach at the it will follow anti Markovnikov so Br gonna add to the carbon that has more hydrogen group so it's gonna become like this and the hydrogen gonna become like this so maybe you can make the situation more complex by making the uh, using this reaction scheme okay so here is just the uh, additional uh, situation here so that you can think more about the process okay so i think that's all for this video see you again some other time bye